Man, I'll tell you what, though. This is an interesting story, you guys. Very interesting story. Because a chain of marijuana dispensaries in Arizona is getting creative for election season by offering special election-themed strains of cannabis, each representing one of the presidential candidates from the Democratic, Republican, and Green parties, you guys. Of course, they couldn't leave out the greenies. The dispensary behind this fun promotion is, guess what? That's right. It's Cura Leaf, and they're calling it their Toke the Vote campaign. With the election just three weeks away, the campaign has attracted attention for mixing politics with pot. And in a quote, they say, we wanted to have some fun with this, said Cura Leaf representative Luke Flood. It's a fun industry, so we approach this with a lighthearted spirit, he says. Cure Leaf is offering three themed strains, Kamala Kush for Vice President Harris, Donald OG for the former president and future president, and Space Jill for the Green Party. Interesting space, Jill, for Jill Green Party candidate Jill Stein. Flood explained that the strains are available... At 14 of Cure Leaf 16 stores across Metro Phoenix, and all priced consistently at $30 per eighth. Each of these election themed strains has its own distinct THC content and flavor, and in a quote, they say, All three strains are testing around 29.5% THC. Flood said, The flavor profiles vary a bit. There's an earthy, cheesy, and zesty vibe depending on your palate. And for those curious about how the sales are going, it seems the race is close. In the quote, they say, right now it's neck and neck between Donald OG and Kamala Kush, Flood noted. Cure Leaf's election-themed strains will be available at all of their Arizona locations through Election Day on November 5th, you guys. Well, 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 look at this, man. Cure Leaf is getting into the political game with some political Kush. I think this is fantastic. I wish I was in Arizona, and I just wonder how come they're not selling these strains in more of the markets that they're actually in, why it's segregated to uh, only Arizona. That's a good, that's, that's something I would love to know. But, you know, they're not the only company that is getting involved in the political theme uh, for, for cannabis because we also have Parody Gummy that's getting ready to release and those have three uh distinct uh SKUs that are going to be coming out and you guys can check those out at parodygummy.com that's p-a-r-o-d-y-g-u-m-m-y.com and you can get your pre-orders now and get them in the mail for election day they are going to have three you guys we are going to have the bad ombre the sleepy joe's and the Raspberry Riots, all politically themed. And I think Millie has the labels to show you guys. Boom, right there. Yes, the Bad Ombre, the Raspberry Riots, and the Sleepy Joes, you guys. So make sure you go and <laughs> check those out. You guys did a good job on that, Jason. I like the packaging design you came up with. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Wait, yeah, I, I, I got a question that. about Cure Leaf, though. Are they. You're they, right, they, right. They're they're <laughs> They're, work, they're working on the, the RFK. You smoke the RFK pack, you get brain worms. Oh, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> man. You know, you know the, the, the jokes, the jokes with Cure Leaf coming out with this shit pretty much write themselves. Yeah, they do, <laughs> is right? This, is this interference? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh man! Uh, I feel like they could have came up with a better name. Like I'm, I'm glad they called it. What's that, Omar? I think the Trump strain should be called the uh, Trump Pretendica because it makes you confused and gives you a headache. I don't know. I mean, that just might be it makes you shit your, uh, shit your pants. Is that what you're saying too? <laughs> oh, the Sleepy Joes make you do that. Make you, yeah. Oh yeah, the 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 Trump Kush makes you shit your pants and just start dancing around like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. The void all white chairs. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I prefer the bulletproof, the bulletproof ruts that came out. The, what's that, Jenny? The bulletproof runs. I don't know. After the after the oh, first, there was some pretty solid, uh, mm -hmm. pretty solid packaging that came out. But that was on the uh, the illicit market. But good job, you guys. The I feel finally. like I feel like they I missed an they opportunity to to license uh, to do do something with Jilly Bean for for Jill Stein. Like that, mm -hmm. that was sitting right there. 
Oh, Miss right? Jill, I right? will speak for her because she is my weed mom and I love her to death. Shout out Miss Jill, TGA Genetics. She would lose her ever loving shit. I mm. promise. Well, I mean, I, with her with her I permission, of course. You. Yank yeah. it. <laughs> mm. Yank that's, that's it. The biggest, shout out to Big Pharma. Would not be the jelly bean. Mm. I love her. Cheers, mom. <laughs> Oh boy, you guys! This is this is yeah, fun. Yeah, I think Cornell West did not like her at all. That's why he left. I, I I like the fact that 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 these cannabis companies are getting involved in the election and you know what I'm saying you know encouraging their customers to purchase this stuff. I I, I like this. Give your here. politics out of my weed. Mm. Well, I, I think it's appropriate too because I mean, Cure Leaf. I don't know. I don't know how good their their product is down in Arizona. So you might get some some mids flower, some mids candidates. You know what? Yeah, they, they're saying twenty nine percent. I'm like. That. You know what they should be doing. I, I, do, I do want to see. I do want to see what the uh, the sales look like on these. See if they'll reflect exactly. The polls. I, I, I said they were neck and neck. I, I I agree with that, Rico. And I wish that a portion of the proceeds would be going to each one of these political parties. That They're not going to do that. Yeah, that just they saying. can't do that. Just the same way that we can't directly donate to any nonprofits that get federal funding, right? Because then they're going to lose their federal funding because we're federally illicit. But I do think that this is probably the closest that cannabis is going to come to being actually part of this electoral cycle. Mm-hmm. Are, so, are so cannabis you buy... allowed to? Are they allowed to donate to PACs though? Yes. Yes. And that, so, that's all the dark money. But really, cannabis is now part of the electoral cycle. Like Kamala just brought it to the forefront. She says she's going to legalize it at the federal level. This yeah, but that's huge. just lip service, Omar. She 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 needs to be using the language of descheduling. Legalizing it, I mean, cannabis is technically already legalized, and people are still going to jail for it. Well, she just lapped Trump on that issue. But She has I not lapped Trump on that about. issue. Stop the cap. Trump legalized <laughs> cannabis with the farm bill. Look at all the THCA selling going on across the country. Oh, uh, Jason, this is not Fox News. This is, just if, if you're going yeah. to just start, start spouting a bunch of bullshit, like bring the bring the stats behind it. That, those are come true on, stats. Brother. Those are true stats. Look at all the companies on, that have on, THCA brother. on it's the market. It's true because you said it. Yeah, it's just true because you said it's it. Just, it's like, just man, reality. Nah, man. It's just reality. Wait, so do you, do, you buy, do you buy the strain associated with the candidate that you support or the one that you want to smoke? Because I, You I know what? Know, you That's a great Smoking question. Smoking on your top five, your top five. That is a great question right there, uh, Soham, because I, I often wonder that uh, myself. And personally, I would probably buy the stuff that I would want it to smoke over whichever candidate it is. Um, but at the same time, yeah, if you're not buying this, the, the candidate that you like, it does create the opportunity for an upsell for the person to still purchase that because they like that candidate candidate also what happens when what happens when you're out of a certain strain and uh then the, your customers come in there and they get all pissed off because you ain't carrying that shit no more that's gonna cause some alienation well maybe i mean i think they're just gonna go back to whatever they were calling that strain before when they had it in the store clearly <laughs> are you saying that u.s citizens are uh level-headed people I can see them going to the Fox News and saying, this Curly is liberal as fuck. They're not carrying. <laughs> this is America today. Oh, boy. <laughs> you're oh, you're acting like we are rational people these days. We, we are totally oh. rational people, bro. What are you, what are you talking about, Rico? A train left the station a long time ago. 